This video is so raw, guys. This video is so, I mean, so, wait. This video is so raw, fuck. Hey y'all, welcome back. Let's go watch Amber Lynn show us what not to do in the kitchen. Okay, so all of these veggies, I wanna use the ones that I have in bags first, especially these bell peppers, but I was supposed to use this because it says sell by the 24th on these broccoli florets. So I think I'm gonna cook some broccoli even though I don't really know what I want to do with them, but I guess I'll figure it out. So I think I'm just going to cook them in a pan with a little bit of Mrs. Dash seasoning and some water. Because like I said, I don't use oil. Um, looks like they need to be cut up a little bit because some chunks are pretty large. Like Cut up some, I don't want to do it all because that's just a lot and it's both for Becky and I, so. So I'm probably going to use the rest of this broccoli for dinner. Yay! But this is how broccoli looks so far. Okay, not bad, not bad. Off to a pretty good start. I just put this is Dash seasoning, some minced garlic. I don't know. Broccoli is not really like my forte. I don't care for it too much. But like when I get it at restaurants, I like it because you can tell like they just they just cook it so much better. But for some reason, when you cook it at home, like it never tastes as good. It's very weird. So. Okay, I'm sure you guys don't care about me and my broccoli, but I think I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice to it, and I think that might make it taste really good. So Becky and I already ate our wonderful broccoli. I'm sorry I keep talking about this. It's just I have never made broccoli before. And the one time I did make it, it was just really bad. So I never did since then. And I want to say, how long ago was this? Probably a good like five years ago. Um, so that was great. Follow my recipe. <laughs> So she didn't show us how much lemon juice she put on and she didn't show us anything else that she may have added to the broccoli and she didn't show us the finished product. So I ain't buying it. So one of my go-to meals that I've been having lately is cutting up some chicken sausage, small, small pieces and hash browns. It's like an apple chicken sausage, but it doesn't even taste like it. So I'm gonna cut these up. So as you can tell, I cut it up super small and then I do season it. I usually season it with no sodium stuff like this pepper onion powder minced onion and garlic powder so obviously i'm sure you guys know how to cook some hash browns and some turkey sausage just added the hash browns and now i'm gonna let all that cook together and do its thing i think this is finally done i love having tapatio on this this meal, super low calorie, in my humble opinion. <laughs> Wait, how is the number of calories being low something that's in your opinion? Like, isn't that something it either is or it isn't? Per one sausage, 100 calories, so that's already 200 calories. The hash browns, 200 calories, so that's 400 calories. For someone like me, for one meal, 400 is perfect. I'm gonna go eat this before it gets cold. <laughs> I think today is definitely like a broccoli day because Becky and I are going to try these broccoli and cheese veggie tots. Um, for six pieces is 130 calories. Not bad. I have to set the oven. Wait, six tots is 130 calories? That seems like a lot to me because who only eats six tots?
I have to preheat it at 425. Wait, I thought those were supposed to look like tater tots. Those just look like breaded pieces of broccoli. I feel like Green Giant is trying to scam us. So I'm making enough for both of us to have about a serving and a half. I think it's gonna be a meatless day, so I'm gonna make some of these original veggie patties. Not gonna use any bread tonight. We're just gonna have it on the side with some veggies. I'm gonna make some more broccoli. <laughs> since it turned out good uh, the last time. The rest of this bell pepper. And just some of these mushrooms. We're at Amazon's like, I just wanna get you something. Am I on the spot right now? Uh, hey, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I look really rough right now. Um, Aw, Beck, you look cute. You can show them what I'm doing. Okay. If you don't wanna walk. So, just got done with the veggies. I'm currently warming up the um, veggie patties. I, like today's a meatless day. We're not gonna have any meat. I'm not okay, sure. that's absolutely fine with me. All right, you guys, here is dinner. I just cut up the veggie patty and put it on with the vegetables. So, this looks really, really good. Eh, it's not the worst thing she's ever made. I'd give it a try. This is pretty much my daily breakfast. When I was younger, I couldn't really eat eggs, especially scrambled, because they literally made me feel nauseous. But they don't do that anymore, really, so I'm happy about that. I usually just have two medium eggs, and I do use a little bit of a Pam spray. I know this is nonstick, but you know, that just helps. And I usually just add a little bit of garlic powder to my eggs. And then I also like to have two of these already cooked bacon. When I was younger, I didn't like bacon. So now that I've discovered that I like it, it's super good. I love having two of them. I just pop it in the microwave for a minute and 11 seconds, and it gets nice and crunchy. I've also been liking to have two mandarins. Super, super good. Um, I usually eat them first and then I eat my eggs and my bacon. I know that's kind of like strange, but it is what it is. So it's 53 calories for two slices of bacon, 120 calories for two scrambled medium eggs. And then for two clementines, it's, oh, look at that steam. Yes. For two clementines, it's going to be 80 calories. So all of this for 250 calories. Wow. Okay. So that's two in a row. I would eat both of these meals. I'm going to put our dinner on the crock pot. So, or in the crock pot. I don't really know how many of these I'm going to need. Probably not many so I'm making like a chicken cream of chicken type of thing and we're gonna put it over some brown rice okay Get the chicken up in there I love having a crock pot it just I don't know it's great to have your food cooking while you're doing other things around the house. You don't have to pay attention. I feel like people with like children and like a job where they have to leave the house, this would be great. So I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna see how one of these looks. Whoa, hang on. You're not going to season your meat? That's like step one of any meal. I saw um, two of my favorite YouTubers actually do this. So Matt and Kaylee 
is their name. I might add my own like seasoning and stuff. I'm gonna add some Italian. Okay, that's good. She's adding the seasoning, so it's not a total fail yet. Minced garlic. I meant to say minced onion. That's minced onion, Averlyn. And some garlic and herb. Mrs. Dash, which I am running out of. So I've got to get more of that. Yeah, like literally I have no more. <laughs> I remember they said mix it up. So, oh, this looks disgusting. <laughs> Going to plug it in. Put the lid on. Lock these babies. And we're gonna cook this puppy on high for about four hours or three and a half. Let me give y'all a little hot tip here. I have actually made this before in the crock pot and it does turn out pretty good. However, instead of using whatever random seasonings you want, I mean, you could do that, but I always use a packet of ranch seasoning or you can use onion soup mix. Turns out perfect every time. So Becky should be home soon and I wanted to have dinner ready for her. So I'm just making some mushrooms to go with the chicken and the brown rice is going pretty well. That's almost done. I made enough so we have uh, leftovers, but here are the mushrooms cooking. I love mushrooms because when you cook them, you don't need oil, you don't need butter. It's just they already have water that just like comes out of them when you cook them. So yay. So here is dinner. I did not make enough mushrooms, but oh well. It smells super good and it tastes really good. What is happening? That's three meals in a row I would eat. Let's see if we can make it four. So it is the next day and I'm just making breakfast. I'm keeping it simple. I'm gonna have some brown rice, organic rice cakes and some PB2 is powdered peanut butter, super easy to use with a banana on top. So I put into my fitness pal that I'm actually gonna have two servings of peanut butter or powdered peanut butter. Um, this is only 50 calories per serving, super easy to make. So you do that put the powder in there and then you just put a little bit of water you literally don't need much and then oops, right there. Okay, so I have had PB2 before, but I've only ever had it in the powdered form that I added to like a smoothie. And I know their website says that you could totally add water to it and turn it into like a more of a peanut butter consistency, but I'm just wondering how that tastes. Do any of you guys know? Let me know in the comments if you've tried that. When you stir. I think I'm gonna accidentally put um, too much water in mine, which happens rather easily. But if I just keep stirring it, it'll be okay. Trigger warning here, people. She's about to use the glass cutting board. I do not eat the end of a banana, so just cut those off sorry that noise is obnoxious ain't it I'm not really a banana girl but I'm trying to train my taste buds because it's possible trust me I 
been trying to switch up my breakfasts so I'm not always having the same thing so I don't get bored. Sometimes I'll have like a breakfast that is like made for lunch and then other times I'll have something like this. I just don't want to get bored and have the same thing every single day because that's no fun. This is super simple. You can also put some cinnamon on it if you want, which sounds good too, but I don't really have any. I don't think, put that on the side. I kind of like how this is melty looking, so this actually is perfect. So there we go. This is a six point breakfast on Weight Watchers. I'm gonna clean up my mess and then eat this. Okay, I would probably try this. I feel like the texture would be weird because half of it is like mushy and the other half is hard and crunchy, but the flavor combination doesn't sound bad, so I would try it. So I wanted to try this on camera because I've actually never had this concoction before, so. It looks a little messy. That's the only, the only downfall here. Okay. Mm. Yes. Eric. Huh? I wish you weren't doing low carb in this very moment. Why? This is bomb. What is it? So here is a meal that I have been loving. I just kind of came up with it. So I got this like frozen frozen <laughs> frozen veggie spirals at zucchini. So I had to grab that because I used to make that from scratch back when I lived in Virginia. And these chicken mozzarella meatballs are amazing. I do cut them up, which you guys will be seeing in a minute. And I also got some edamame. I love edamame. Um, it's a shelled soybean, as you can tell. Super easy to cook and really good. And I added some of this classico uh, garlic sauce to it, which made it great. It tied it all together. Mm, this one's starting off kind of rough. I was with her on the zucchini. I was with her on the meatballs. I was with her on the pasta sauce. But the edamame, oh, I don't know, girl. So here, edamame is super, super easy to cook. You just add the whole bag inside of a pot, and then you just turn on the water, and you'll soon discover that big old clump of edamame will shrink down and break it together. Um, and then you just put it on the stove. I put mine on about like eight. So yeah, uh, this is normally where I'll add some music, but I decided I'll just keep going with my voiceover. This is how I like to cut my meatballs. I don't really like the texture of meatballs. Some of them I can stand, but I just cut them in half. And then here I am, well, I cut them in half and then half again and then half again. <laughs> here I am measuring out um, two servings of the sauce. Uh, so a serving for me and a serving for Becky, which is only half a cup. And then I am dishing it out. Ooh, girl, you might want to hit that with some paper towels or something. That looks soggy as fuck. Yes, look at that. First goes in the zucchini in the bowl. And then I do a serving of the edamame in each, which is half of a cup as well. And then next is, obviously, we both have a serving of the chicken meatballs. Oh my gosh, I'm getting hungry just editing this. <laughs> and then I do um, equal parts on this, the sauce. And I decided at the end to do a serving of mozzarella cheese, which is one fourth of a cup. So in total, this whole bowl is 440 calories. Oh man, we were doing so well, but she totally lost me on that last one. Let me know if you guys would try any of her recipes. And don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you'll consider doing so.